What's up guys, we are back with another video. I think this is video four, I don't remember, but oh well. Um, and we have limit the new limit breaks for Tsunade, Body Hashirama, and y'all know I'm ult y'all know I'm gonna limit break Body Hashirama. Body Hashirama, Tsunade, and Madara. Now these limit breaks are a little spicy, so hey. Long range 2500 attack Tsunade, right? Like, 2,500 attack, 1,400 HP. Now she's actually really good, dude. 335 speed, 2,100 attack, which she's not that good in PvP. She's a healer, so whatever. Boy, it's time, yo. All right, so long range, 2,000 attack stat, 2,500 HP. You already know I'm, blitz, I'm hyped about this, yo. PvP stats, what's it going to be? 312 speed. 40,000 HP. I like it. I like it. Yo, I, I, I like it. Yo. Okay, okay, so. Yeah, so, so, Hashirama, he's, he's, he's nasty. But, I already know what everybody wants to see. Everybody wants to see Marara. 2,400 attack stat. Uh, mid-range unit. 2,800 HP. Oof. Um, and then his PvP is where they, everybody wants to see. That's, that's it. So 47,000 HP, 47,000 HP, 335 speed. Madara is a beast. Okay. Now I, I want to talk about each of them individually. Um, overall Tsunade, she's never been, she's never really had to compete with anybody for a spot on a skill team for the simple fact she was a healer that did damage. And on the skill team, there's not really any other healers that do her job as well as she does her d job. Now we're talking about healers in, in general. She's the second best healer in the game. Uh, burst healer, jutsu healer type of deal with, um, Matotic Regeneration Sakura being first, she's second. But you gotta realize Sakura is on the Bravery team, so Sakura doesn't even get that much playtime. But with Tsunade, Tsunade's healing was really, really good on a skill team. It was like insane. So, um, yeah, she's very good. She's very good. Um, and now that she's gotten a limit break, she's gonna be doing even more damage because she's long range with a 2500 attack stat and she has a counter attack. Not to mention, if you go to her ult, that's her ult. You can't go to her ult. Alright, well, her ult... I forgot her ult multiplier, but it's a pretty good multiplier. Especially having a 2,500 attack stat now, it's going to be insanely good. Going on to Hashirama. Hashirama is about to be uh, a very big staple for the body team once again. Because if you remember, when Hashirama came out, he was like the best... He was the best body unit in the game. Period. Point blank. No discussion. For a long while. And then, um... Some other stuff happened with other units. He kind of fell off. But now that he's getting a limit break, 2,000 attack stat as a long range unit is insanely good. Not to, not to mention, all of his abilities are 25% damage reduction to a respective element. And on top of that, none of his abilities are attack ups. So 2,000 attack stat is going to be the, that attack stat, right? Uh, guys, be, hey, make sure you're looking out because I'm definitely bringing, about bringing back body only PvP. With Killer Breeze limit break and Hashirama's limit break, uh, I got Haku again, so I'm definitely, I'm going to bring back PvP for body units. Um, I do need to limit break my Edo Itachi and all that, but I'll get to that soon. Uh, Hashirama is going to be insane because his ultimate is AoE long range. No, it's AoE vast range with immobilization and Jutsu ceiling. He's going to be a beast. Going on to the, the one that everyone's loving. Madara has 5% um, damage reduction to skill, heart, and body. He has um, attack ups on his uh, both of his abilities. And the 20% um, to use no chakra on your ult is really good too. But anyways, Madara always did insane damage. Even like like even now in PvP, before the limit break, his Jutsu does insane damage. So now that he has his limit break, he's, he's going to be on... P P he's coming back. Guys, long story short, Modder is coming back to PvP. That's just how it's going to be. Um, I know a lot of people are going to be insanely mad and happy at the same time. I know people that have saved, that have two, three Moderas. So, um, it's just going to be really insane to see what he can do and how he's going to make a scene uh, back on PvP. I'm going to definitely be doing showcases and stuff with Hashirama. Um, and, you know, 
maybe moderate we'll see i don't have tsunami so i can't do that but yeah um but anyways that's gonna be it for this video uh be sure to give it a like oh sorry before we get to into the end sorry uh here's the banner um i don't really know the translations on it or anything Tsunade here I come yeah I don't have Tsunade either I only have like one or two dupes on Hashi and I've only pulled like two moderates so I low-key could summon for him actually if I wanted to like that could definitely be a thing um do I recommend summoning no obviously it's a trap like if you have the units good if you don't have them you don't need them uh literally there's like a million body units that are as good as Hashirama there's a million heart you not a million but there's a couple of heart units as good as madara madara is not a necessity hashirama is not a necessity sunati is not really a necessity unless your skill team is just god awful or horrible so i mean nah i, I say not nah, don't do it but anyways so yeah that's gonna be it for this video be sure to like subscribe to yourself if you're new comment down below tell us you guys in the comment section below with that being said i'll see you guys next time peace